All right, let's practice multiplication up to 1,000. Darren ate 80 boxes of jelly beans. A box contains 20 jelly beans. How many jelly beans did Darren eat? All right, let's mark it up. We have 80 boxes that he ate. Every box contains 20 jelly beans. We want to know the 20. We want to know the total number. So we need to multiply. 80 times 20. And because we're multiplying by multiples of 10, we can do a shortcut. I love these shortcuts. First thing I'm going to do is my basic fact. 8 times 2 is what? 16. Okay. Now, to find the rest of my answer, how many zeros do I have in the problem? 2. So I bring down these two. So my answer is 1,600 jelly beans. Holy cow, that's a lot of jelly beans. Okay, next one. Nick ate 70 boxes of jelly beans. A box contains 40 jelly beans. How many jelly beans did Nick eat? All right, mark it up. 70 boxes, and each box has 40 jelly beans. Okay, so we want to find the total. So we are multiplying 70 times 40. Again, I'm using multiples of 10, which is awesome. So I can do a shortcut and do my basic fact, which is seven times four. What is seven times four? Seven times four is 28. And I think of these zeros as little brothers or sisters that have to come along for the ride. They can't be left alone. You need to bring them along. So how many zeros do I have in my multiplication problem? Two. So I bring both of them with me. So he eats 2,800 jelly beans. Ants can build up to, ants can build an ant hill 90 millimeters a day. How big will a new ant hill be after 50 days? So every day it's 90 millimeters and they do that for 50 days. So we need to multiply. So we will do 90 times 50. Again, multiplying by multiples of 10 means we can do our shortcut. 9 times 5 equals what? 45. How many zeros are in my problem? 2. So bring down 2 zeros. So after 50 days, the ant hill will be 4,500 millimeters tall. If there are 10 moths and each lays 90 eggs at the end of the season, how many moths will there be next season? All right, so there's 10 total moths and they're each laying 90 eggs. We want to know how many there will be next season. So we need to multiply. So we do 90 times 10. Could I also do 10 times 90? Absolutely. For me, I just like sometimes having the greater number on top. That's just how my mind works. And with multiplication, you can do that. Again, we're multiplying by multiples of 10, so we can do our shortcut. 9 times 1 equals 9. How many zeros are left in the problem? 2. So that means next season there will be 900 moths. Next one, Caleb ate 70 boxes of jelly beans, and each box contains 10 jelly beans. How many jelly beans did Caleb eat? Okay, so there are 70 boxes, and each box has 10 jelly beans. We want to know the total. We will multiply 70 times 10. Can I do my shortcut with my basic fact? Yes, we can. Seven times one is seven, and I have two zeros to bring down. So he ate 700 jelly beans. Next, Gabriel is buying cupcakes for his class. He wants to give each kid 70 cupcakes. 
holy cow, that's a lot of cupcakes, 70 cupcakes, and there are 40 kids in his class. How many cupcakes does he need to buy? That is a lot of cupcakes. So each kid is getting 70, and there's 40 kids in the class. So 70 times 40. Can I do my basic fact? Yes. What is 7 times 4? 28. How many zeros do I need to bring down? 2. So he will need to buy 2,800 cupcakes. Can you imagine that many cupcakes in one place? Holy cow. All right, next one. William is buying cupcakes for his class. Oh boy, he wants to give each kid 80 cupcakes and there are 100 kids in his class. How many cupcakes does he need to buy? My gosh, and I thought the last problem had a lot of cupcakes. Okay, so each kid gets 80 cupcakes and there's 100 kids in the class. We wanna find the total. What am I multiplying? I'm doing, I'm gonna put this up here for a little extra room, 100 times 80, okay? Can I do a basic fact? Yes, I can. It's one times eight. What is one times eight? Eight. How many zeros do I need to bring down? One, two, three. One, two, three. So he will need to buy 8,000 cupcakes. I can only imagine what that bill would look like. Next one, if there are 60 moths and each lays 90 eggs at the end of the season, how many moths will there be next season? Okay, 60 moths and they each are laying 90 eggs. We wanna know the new total for next season. So what am I multiplying? 90 times 60. Can I do my basic fact? Yes. What is 9 times 6? 54. How many zeros do I need to bring down? 2. So there will be 5,400 moths next season. Next one. If there are 80 moths and each lays 40 eggs at the end of the season, how many moths will there be next season? Okay, so we have a total of 80 moths and they're each laying 40 eggs. We wanna know how many next season. So my multiplication problem is 80 times 40. Okay, can I do a basic fact? Yes. What is eight? times four. Eight times four is 32. And I have two zeros to bring down. So that means there will be 3,200 moths next season. All right, let's do one more. Natalie is buying cupcakes for her class. She wants to give each kid 60 cupcakes, and there are 60 kids in our class. How many cupcakes does she need to buy? Okay, each kid gets 60 cupcakes, and she has 60 kids in the class. We want to know the total. So it will be, putting it over here this time, 60 times 60. Can I do a basic fact? Yes, 6 times 6 is 36. And I have how many zeros to bring down? Two. So that means she will need to buy 3,600 cupcakes. Great job with this skill today.